What up everyone? It is 7.30 in the morning. I have an alignment at 10. This is what the car still looks like. The brakes are bled. Um, I need to put my mufflers on so I don't really wake up all the neighbors. These plates are on there now. Um, obviously I do have to, after it gets aligned, I just want to obviously make sure I have enough movement in the shock tower before I weld it in there. I'm going to tack weld it clean up in there so it looks nice and clean and obviously shape it you know put some uh like a c-clamp pull it down weld that the bottom looks pretty good so thanks to marcus fry on those and here's this one this one's a little cleaner than that one it still has like a little leftover metal that i gotta get out so hopefully it works out um yeah i just have to fix the alignment Put my wheels on, put my exhaust on, and I think we're good to go. Um, let's go get in alignment. We'll we'll find out here soon. So I lost the GoPro. Um, I had moved my stack of tires and moved to the GoPro, and I lost it while doing all this. So I put the wheels back on, um, hoping the alignment's going to be somewhat okay to get it on the trailer. It's not starting, so I have to put it on the jumper now. I'm not sure why it's so high in the rear. I think I should probably lower it or maybe I need to move it around the suspension hasn't settled or something I'm not sure but it's super tonka so I either have to raise the front or bring the back down which I think I would rather bring the back down So I did, however, change the rear subframe bushings. I don't know if that's why it's so high in the back, but uh, that's not gonna work. We're definitely gonna have to pull some stuff out of to make it lower in the rear. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rock it like this. But it's back on the street, sitting there. Guess we'll load it up to get an alignment. Alrighty, we're gonna go load the car up. It's been kind of hard to film, I'm trying to limp around and uh, get it done. So, I'm gonna load the car up. Um, it's a lot higher than I expected, and I need gas. So, got to do all that, take care of all that today. Got some E85 here at Sinclair. <laughs> Dang, 
I see a GT3 over there. Man, I'm gonna go walk around after this. We should build this 28 for road racing. I think that'd be dope. Or buy another shell and build it just a track car, you know? Uh, buy like a stripped shell from Copart and just build it straight track, race car, road racing. Then it's like I don't have enough time to even do drifting, so I don't know. tired of my GoPro. Um, keep saying SD card error. It's a brand new one. It's a GoPro 9 Black. I just got it from them because my last one did this. Every SIM card I buy that's recommended on the GoPro website gets ruined, so threw it in the truck. Hopefully some of the footage is still there. Got my alignment specs. What happened, Louis? Who hit the power line? Probably like a GT3 flipped over or something. GT3? We lost power here. You think we can make him fit the GTO? Have a bracket race today. Six and a quarter mile. Cool. It passes smog. It's Cali, Cali smog legal. Uh, look, my guy has his own jack. We need to step up our game, Louie. We gotta get jack stands like that. <laughs> Alden retired? Sheesh. He's got the look how thick the primaries are on these headers. They're <laughs> 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 like two and a half. They put the holes a little too big. What you doing down here, Louie? It's not gonna go on there, my guy. Grind it and reweld it. Fuck it.
So shout out to Franco and Farouk. They got this thing aligned. Um, they were, we lost power in the shop and it was taking forever to get it back. I had to go to physical therapy, so I had to come back. Um, we realized the rack isn't uh, like centered. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go home, fix that, and then we're gonna do the toe again. And I'm gonna bring it back and yeah. So we're gonna figure it out because if you go towards passenger, it has a lot of angle. Towards the driver, it doesn't have that as much angle, you know? So we're gonna figure that out. Louis is getting an alignment over there right now. We're gonna load it up, take it to my buddy Kareem's house, and we have to weld the plates on. As well, I don't think I'm gonna do this this weekend. Maybe. I gotta use my dad's porter power to pull this out so I can, you know, get that guy on there. And uh, I gotta readjust this quarter panel because it's sitting pretty far off compared to the other side. I mean, it's sitting a little, a little funny right now because it's sitting on top of this. But I like how low it, how low it got, you know? Louie took out the spacers while it was gone. It's a little lower, it's not as low as I would like it, but good enough. It's on half positive degree of camber and we have a little bit towing in the back. Hopefully it'll have a little more bite, but uh, we'll see. So I think I probably should corner balance this thing. I'm not sure, cause this side looks like it's sitting nice, you know? Almost forgot my ramps down. <laughs> I need, to, I need to for sure bang that out. But look how high this side's sitting. I wonder why. No idea why this side is so, so high. It makes no sense. I don't know what's going on, but it's bothering me pretty bad. So I wonder if this side is higher than the driver's side or something. I measured the front coil levers. Front coil levers are the same. Yeah, so I don't know, I'm pretty confused. Let's see what's out here racing right now. Whatever it is, they're flying. Not sure what's going on with this GoPro. It keeps saying SD card error, file repair. GoPro, you suck. I hate it. Car back there. They're out there racing. Boy, Louie got a new job. You know what you're doing down there? Nope. Should fucking start bending. Bending? Yep. Okay. And we're still at negative 44. As straight as you do? home to go eat and then uh, waiting for Kareem to get home so that we can um, weld those plates in, bring it back to the house, take the injectors out, drop off the injectors to Z28 Joe so he can clean them. And while I'm waiting for that, I can start putting the body panels back on and making it look somewhat decent. Uh, I'm not too worried about exactly how it looks, but yeah. For now, we're out of here. I'm not gonna lie, this road racing stuff looks fun though. It'd be cool to buy a, well, these guys all have like super cool cars. I guess this is probably the, the GT challenge or something like that. But yeah, we're out of here. Again, thanks to Farouk and Franco.
Kareem's house. He's not even here. Didn't realize he's out on the bike. I don't think Reem's neighbors are going to be happy about this. He lives in a ballin' neighborhood. Can't show you guys the, you know, the damn addresses. But look at that house. It's fat. You ready? Oh, yeah. We're ready. We're ready. Think we got to break your neighbors in with some donuts. I love it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Penolfi D would be here quick. It's on fire. What? <laughs> it was for a second. Fucking my hood didn't fucking auto tune right away. That's what I'm saying. I wasn't ready for that. Like, I looked and I was like, oh. I went blind. I'm blind still. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Well, I think The last three inches? Last three inches. That's all I got for you guys. <laughs> hey. Looks good. It's what God gave me. It's the girth. It's the girth mm -hmm. that matters. <laughs> Looks good, you guys are. We got that. You guys are out of pocket. It's the, it's the girth I like that matters. Process. We're there. I didn't say this shit would be good. I get paid for the attempt. <laughs> <laughs> it's the girth. It's all the girth. Will we see this yet? We're lit. Oh, did he? So we're back at the house. Shout out to Reem. Um, to show you guys this one. Cream welded these plates in for me to make the uh, shock tower look a little nicer. He welded those in. Marcus Fry made them for me. So shout out to you guys. Um, shout out to Dev Speed for doing the alignment for me. Um, we figured out the front. Uh, there was nothing even wrong with it. It turns both ways the way it's supposed to. So, yeah. I have to make sure the rear subframe is centered. Um, figure out why the passenger side is a quarter inch higher than this side. Might be something off in the front. Um, I took all the adjustments out of the rear. And it's all the way as low as it, the car can go. And it's still not low. So, they're going to, um, Maverick Man Mark Carbon is going to make me some smaller springs for the rear. Um, other than that, I have to pull the injectors out. So, I was, I was rushing to get the car, um, to get the car back to the house aligned so that I can take the injectors to get cleaned because the car is a little sput it's like sputtering pretty bad and I think it's because the car's been sitting for four months with the E85 in it so I have to clean the injectors and clean the fuel filter um I don't know how long that's gonna take so I want to have the injectors out and then I'll fit all the body panels on it it won't be painted by race wars but it'll be all in one piece hopefully I can push out the stuff in the back. I might just drive it like this to try it out at race course, see how it goes, and yeah. So let me get these injectors out, take these to Z28 Joe, my boy Joe. I gotta drop them off. It's already like 11.30 at night, so I'm trying to get this done, and yeah. <laughs> 